Hey guys, welcome to another amazing tutorial about Bootstrap. Today we're going to take a look at Bootstrap for Grid System. Bootstrap Grid System has a division of columns up to 12 in each row. Each column widths vary according to the size of screen they're displayed in. You can basically think of this as a table with 12 columns, wherein we can choose how many rows we can place in our website. There are major screen sizes that we can work on in Bootstrap 4. The first one is extra small display for super small screen mobile devices. The next one is small display for ordinary screen size mobile devices. The third one will be medium display for tablets. And the last one is large display for desktops. We will be discussing more on this along with the respective classes later on. In this part, I'm going to show you how to create a basic grid layout using Bootstrap 4 grid system. I have my basic markup here which includes the meta information, the Bootstrap 4 CDN link, as well as some conditional statements for Internet Explorer 9 where we added some JavaScript CDN links for rendering purposes. The first thing we need to do is to create a div class container. There are two container class. The first one is container class which is for fixed width. The second one is the container fluid for the liquid-like grids responsive. For this tutorial, we're going to use the container fixed width class. Then we also need to add a row class inside the container. This will handle the rows on each grid. Just a quick tip, it is recommended to have a single container with all of the rows inside to wrap everything and center elements on the screen. Before we move on, let's talk about the 5 types of class prefixes we can use to create columns in Bootstrap 4. The first one is called "-xs for extra small display that covers the screen width of less than 34 ms. The second one is called "-sm for smaller display that covers the screen width of 34 ms and up. The third one will be called "-md for medium display that covers the screen width of 48 ms and up. The fourth one will be the fourth one will be called "-lg for smaller display that covers the screen width of 62 ms and up. Then the last one is called "-xl for extra large display that covers the screen width of 75 ms and up. Let's have an example. Let's say we want to cover up three columns to span across all 12 available bootstrap columns on small devices. We can use the class call dash sm dash four three times to sum up the 12 grids. Let's also add some extra classes to our markup so that the columns pick their respective CSS styles. We will then put some styles here for those column on our head section to see how this column works. Let's check this on our browser. As you can see, we have three columns here. So if we resize our browser, it will remain three columns. But what if we want this to behave differently on larger screens? We can then use call-lg-12 to target larger screens and make them span all over the 12 grids. Let's see that now. As you can see, it actually works the way we set it up. On this part of the tutorial, let's see how we can create a flexible layout for both desktop, tablet, and mobile devices. First, create a new HTML file, name it grids underscore view dot HTML. We will also create our basic markup then which is actually almost the same markup like we have in the beginning of this tutorial. This step has mostly larger than 1080 pixel screen size. You can use call-lg or call-xl for fixed class here if you want to target the larger screens. However, for this tutorial we will use call-md. For our columns in desktop screens since it has no additional effect on the layout for larger displays that are larger than 1200 pixels. Let's create a div container and a row class first. And inside it, we will create 8 columns with 
call-md-3class. Inside each columns, we'll just set up an h3 tag, a text, and a link. We will also be adding up a header section for our header and then place call-md12class to expand it all over the screen. Let us also add some custom styles to make our grids a bit presentable. These are just basic styles, nothing special here. Okay, great. Let's see this now on our browser. For our tablet view or medium screens, let's add some extra codes on the codes we have. Unlike desktops, tablets can display the columns either portrait or landscape. The landscape view can be achieved with a call-md class, but for a portrait, we can use call-sm class. We're going to display two column layout in smaller displays using call-sm-6 classes. We need to display column to span across Bootstrap's column so that the remaining columns will just be displayed on the next rows. Okay, let's see that now on a tablet view. Now for our mobile view, we can use the call-xs-12 class to perfectly span all grids on 12 columns. The landscape view in mobile devices use small size displays and can be taken care of by the call-sm classes while the portrait can be handled by call-xs class. So since it's actually a smaller version of our grids, we will be displaying one column per row using call-xs12. Okay, let's check out this version on a smaller size of screen. One of the great features of Bootstrap 4 is that you can move columns to right using offset class. For instance, if you have a column that you want to offset or simply to put a gap within, you can simply use this feature. There are four classes you can use to offset in Bootstrap. The first one is call-xs-offset. Second one is call-sm-offset. The third one will be call-md-offset. And finally, the call-lg-offset. Let's have an example. Let's create a tree column using call s or call dash sm dash three class and then offset the last one with four columns using the class call dash sm dash offset dash four. Okay, let's check this out on our browser. As you can see, it puts a four column gap here. Another great feature of Bootstrap is that you can nest your content with the default grid. You just have to create a new row within an existing column, then you can fill this row with some custom columns with some custom columns which can also span within the 12 skill column and is limited to its parents width. For example, let's create two columns using call-lg-6 class with our custom classes and then inside it we'll put an h3 tag. Now inside the first column, let's create a new row. From this row, we can add additional three columns using call-sm-4 class. Let's check this out on our browser. As you can see, we have three new columns nested inside the first call-lg-6 column or column 1. In Bootstrap, you can also rearrange grids. 
This will allow you to have a different view on large screen and, and then a different view on a mobile screen. You just have to use the class call column size pull and call column size push to move column to the left or to the right. There are four major classes you can use here. The first one is call dash excess dash pull and call dash xs dash push for extra smaller screens. The second one is call dash sm dash pull and call dash sm dash push for smaller screens. The third one will be call dash md dash pull and call dash md dash push for medium screens. The last one will be call dash lg dash pull and call dash lg dash push for larger screens. Let's create an example. Let's create two columns. One is call dash md dash 4 and the other one is call dash md dash 8. So if we check this on our browser, we will just see two columns. Nothing special here. Now let's push column 1 to the right on medium size screens by 8 columns and let's pull column 2 to the left by 4 columns on medium size screens. So we will use call dash md dash push dash 8 for first column and then call dash md dash pull dash 4 for the second column. Now let's check this on our browser. As expected, it has successfully pushed column 1 by 8 columns to the right and column 2 by 4 columns to the left. And that's really it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you again next time.